Hey guys, thanks for joining me. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing a little back swimmer pattern that I call the Beauty Salon Back Swimmer. For my hooks, I'm using Togan's Nymph Competition Barbless Hook in size 14. For the thread, I'm using Semperfly's Nano Silk in uh, 50 denier or 12 aught. For the body of this, I'm going to use Semperfly's Dry Fly Poly Yarn. This is mottled dark brown color. For the legs, the Semperfly Silly Legs in Burnt Orange Bard. These things are wicked. And for the little water wake imitation, I'm using Semperflash in Crystal Pearl. And for the eyes, I'll show you this little trick using some monofilament and uh, Togan's glass beads in uh, red color. These are a 2.4 millimeter. And this is where it gets its name, the Beauty Salon Back Swimmer, using some acrylic nails. And I uh, will coat that with Sally Hanston's Insta Dry. This is black color. And then to finish it all off and give it a nice sheen, Golf Thin Men. And that just helps secure those eyes in place. Makes it look really nice. So with these back swimmers and uh, the smaller variety of water boatmen, they're from the same family, but they can be very prevalent in the waters early, early spring, right after ice off or in the fall late fall right before freeze up happens um, i like to fish these on one of my favorite lines the clean sweep line what that line does is it helps to drag these water boatmen um, through the water column either uh, at a bit of an angle and these are a, a neutral buoyancy fly uh, so you can really have fun with this imitating um, the natural back swimmers they'll dive down a little bit, they'll float up, they'll be in and around the vegetation. So I've had great success stripping these in about one foot to three feet of water, tucked right into the shallows there. The fish will take them very aggressively, so make sure that you have some strong tippet. Um, as you can see, I've just started the nano silk and then captured uh, four strands of that um, Semperfly uh, Semper Flash. And that just imitates as the back swimmers move through the water, they create and displace a little bit of water. So the a little bit of that pearl crystal flash imitates the disturbance in the water. And then uh, I've gone ahead and added the poly yarn and the silly legs kind of midway up the, the hook shank. Now this is a cool little trick that I want to show you guys using a small section of monofilament. I've got 20 pound test and then you just go ahead and you melt the end and tap that down so it creates a little bit of a, a stop on either side of those glass beads and then uh, just flatten that out and it makes a really realistic looking uh, set of eyes there and then wrap that up a few times with your nano silk that way you're not going to be dropping those eyes all over your fly tying desk and then a couple securing figure eight wraps to make sure that that doesn't spin around on you. That's perfect. I'm going to do a whip finish just to get that out of the way. And then here we're going to go ahead and wrap the body up with that, uh, that poly yarn. Want to make sure to uh, get those legs out of the way. And then as you wrap forward, you're going to capture these on almost a 45. That's what the natural back swimmers and water boatmen they've got those legs that are pointing forward they almost look like little oars uh, from a, a boat i guess that's why they get their name the uh, the boatmen uh, and uh, and the back swimmers kind of look like they'll uh, they'll swim inverted oftentimes um, so with the weight of this acrylic nail it typically floats upside down in the water which is a really cool feature and yeah you want to make that body um, tapered in the midsection and then I do a couple of wraps just around those eyes um, being sure to not crowd your uh, your hook eye 
and then I'm using white nano silk here so give it a little touch of a brown sharpie and it just helps to hide that thread in that uh, poly yarn as you finish up give it a, a couple of securing wraps behind and in front of that trim off the excess there and then we're going to do a, a whip finish just behind these eyes you can secure that really nice and then while I have a minute here, I just want to talk about this Semperfly uh, dry fly poly yarn. It's really neat stuff. It's got uh, quite a bit of buoyancy to it. I use it for a lot of my dry fly patterns. Uh, and then coupled with the weight of the acrylic nail, uh, the end result is somewhat of a neutral buoyancy fly. So you can really hone in on the uh, type of sink rate fly line that you're using, whether that's an intermediate line, a type 3 sink line or uh, like I mentioned one of my favorites the clean sweep lines uh, so with these acrylic nails you want to buy the smallest acrylic nails that you can uh, this one I've trimmed down quite a bit just to fit this size 14 competition nymph hook and then you'll apply a little bit of crazy glue or some acrylic nail resin and just hold that down to make sure that it securely bonds uh, to the body of this fly so for some of my original prototypes of this fly, I actually used pistachio shells. So you can use either very sharp scissors or a Dremel tool and uh, get those down to a, a small um, tapered shape. Uh, pretty cool. The pistachio shell adds a little bit of buoyancy to this fly in comparison to the acrylic nails. So you can have some fun with pistachio shell backs as well fill up your box with a few of those and then uh, you've got a couple of alternatives whether or not you want to get that back swimmer down under the surface a bit or if you want that to ride on top depending on what the uh, the trout are taking and then it's dealer's choice here take me to the beauty salon you can use whatever nail polish you like uh, sharpies work well as well uh, i like sally hansen's insta dry uh, nail polish uh, so I'll put a little dollop on the back, uh, spread that around similar to the naturals, and then I find I'll use my bodkin to, to pick it out and get uh, a little bit of dimensions in there as well as uh, some natural looking, um, looking wing patterns in the back there. And then for durability sakes, you're going to want to go with Golf Thin Men just to cover this uh, nail polish up and protect it. Um, so spread that out. It works really nice on the back of this. Uh, you don't need a lot. Just want to give it a nice sheen. And then I as well like to add a little bit just in around those uh, those mono eyes to make sure that they're secured, they're attached to the back, and uh, that you have a, a nice sort of seamless looking uh, back swimmer. I want to give a big shout out to Togan's Fly Shop, to Semperfly and to Broken Tippet. I really appreciate all that you guys do for me, and I uh, want to thank you for uh, tuning in and watching this video. I hope that you learned a little something. Give this back swimmer a tie, and uh, I hope it works out for you. I'll see you on the waters, guys.